Do you know when there's a scam going on? A scammery is afoot. Well, I didn't plan to make this video today, but I'm making it. So stand by and let's go ahead and talk about scammery. You know, in real estate, there's a problem. There's always somebody promising the next great thing. So I just got a call and it's the typical thing that we have in real estate where someone's promising the next great thing. And this time they touched a nerve because they were messing with my favorite group, my fellow military and veterans. And don't you mess with my military and veterans because you're going to get the hammer down. So anyway, without going too deep into what they were talking about, well, actually, I'm going to get deep into what they were talking about, and then I'm going to start talking about scams because it relates not just to this, it relates to real estate agents, it relates to you as the general public, and it relates to the military and some rules that have to be followed, and it relates to scammers and trying to talk slick and objection handling. So here's how it lays out. You see... Real estate agents, just like everybody else, we, we want to you know, communicate with you folks. And so he, this person calls up and he's talking about uh, the golf course out at Nellis Air Force Base. And, uh, you know, those little directional sign kinds of things and putting my information there as a preferred realtor kind of thing. And he goes through his little spill and going back and forth. He's showing me his stuff on the computer and all this stuff and you know I get to the point it's like you know we get into pricing not gonna get in you know what those seven hundred ninety dollars whatever <laughs> and he's like and he goes well well are you ready to do this I'm like well I gotta think about it but what is there to think about see what he's doing is he's going into what's known as objection handling you've gone into this crap with salespeople before what is there to think about you have to sleep on it? You got to think? Well, let's think together. All this BS. It's like, well, uh, I forget kind of like what my answer was. And he starts going like, well, what's to think about? You're being endorsed by the military, by Nellis Air Force Base. And I went, okay, stop it, son. Slow your roll. I want you to look deeper into my record. And he goes, well, wh what do you mean? I want you to look into my record. And he's like, well, I show that you're an MRP. So I'm a military uh, relocation professional from uh, National Association of Realtors. Uh, humble bragging here. I was one of the first people in the country to get the designation. I was the first person in the state of Nevada to get it. I did it while I was still on active duty. Uh, the person who actually taught it, great instructor, one of the best in the country. And he actually didn't have it. So he taught actually the first certification class that was taught in the country and I was sat in that class. Wow! So getting into it, it's like, well, I see that you're an NRP. So I was calling you. I was like, I need you to look deeper. So it's like, okay, here's the deal. I'm retired from the Air Force. I'm a retired Air Force officer. What you just said was not true. The military cannot endorse someone. He goes, yes, they can. I'm like, no, they can't. Yes, they can. No, they can't. Yes, they can. No, they can't. Okay, I'm done. Boop. Done with him. That's when I decided to make this video. Because he's trying to convince me something that I know cannot happen. The military cannot endorse a private business. It is within what's known as the joint ethics regs. These are very strict regs on the conduct that we must follow. Okay? When I mean we, I mean we. It's a corporate body of the military. For those who don't know, retired military officers, believe it or not, are still in the military. And they actually have the right to recall me for 10 years after I retire. Ah! Uh, yeah, so getting into that, yeah, they do. And this gets into all of the lies that are told 
not only to the poor real estate agents who really believe they're going to get more business out of something, but to you, the consumer, when you're told you're going to get something because you're being made promises because that person wants to close a sale. And it's not just real estate. Every salesperson out there keeps doing this. And they go through sales training after sales training. Through, I don't want to mention names here of these major sales trainers who train you on how to do this stuff. You know, because, you know, legalities don't want to be sued. But they do. They come in with all these languages that you hear. You've done it. You go to the car dealership. You know that swarmy used car dealer that you just love? That's why they compare real estate agents to used car dealers. Yeah, the same language. You know, but what do you have to think about? <laughs> yeah, you have to think because you're about to buy a $40,000 car that as soon as you drive off the lot is worth 30% less than you bought and they convinced you how great it was. What do you have to think about? The $330,000 house you're about to buy? That's why I don't try to rush people when they're buying houses because yes, yeah, it's going to become their home. That may be the most expensive thing they own or ever purchased in their life. It's important to think. Not, I'm going to try to convince every person to buy every home that's in front of them. Think, man. Think, dude. I'm just going back and just everyone out there, whether you're a consumer or a real estate agent, as soon as they start this crap, and the other part didn't make any sense whatsoever. And I brought this up to this guy. He's talking about we have a 90 over 90 percent retention rate when people come into our system and they put their names on our boards. They never leave. I'm like, and I brought that up. That doesn't make any sense. If the last real estate agent was on your board and he was making so much money and getting so much business, why are you calling me? Why are you trying so hard to sell me? If this is such a great deal, you wouldn't be trying to sell me. If I had the greatest thing in the world, I'm looking for something here. You know, I got this product here. It's the greatest thing in the world. And I know it's the greatest thing in the world. And I got a hundred people I can call right now. There are probably a hundred MRPs in Las Vegas because everybody wants to service the military because they know it's a great thing to do. Never served a day. Throwing around terms they never did because they never bled. They never been down range, you know. Never been, you know, pre-flighting a jet at 130 degrees in the desert. Never done any of that crap. But uh, you could have called 100 people. Somebody says, no, they go to the next. Why has he got to spend 10 minutes on the phone trying to convince me to do something? Oh, you don't want to do it. I'll call a number. I'll call a lot. I got 99 more people to call. But he's got to sit here in town and tell me that uh, it's such a great deal. When I have a great deal, I'll call you up. Hey, I got the greatest deal in the world. This lip balm. Everybody wants this lip balm. Uh, well, tell me more about the lip balm. It's the greatest deal in the world because I got 99 more people who want it. Well, tell me more. You know what? I don't have time for you. Next. That's the greatest thing in the world. Next. We're trying to convince somebody of something. It's not the greatest thing in the world. That's a sales secret. When I'm telling you it's the greatest thing in the world, it's not. Think about it. Think about it. If I have to tell you it's the greatest thing in the world, it's not the greatest thing in the world. Ponder me that, Batman. So anyway, this is a quick hit because I just saw something that ticked me off. And it applied not just to realtors. It applied to everyone in everyday life about what's going on. So don't let, don't, you know, don't get uh, sold the okie doke, as they once said. Uh, listen with your critical mind and know what's going on. 
when someone says something that doesn't make any sense, call them out on it. If I say something that don't make any sense to you, um, people who've worked with me, no, you can call me out on it. If I, I'll apologize. I have no issues with that. Call me out. Because uh, a, a BS artist, they don't like to be called out. They come up with stuff. So if you like stuff I'm saying, uh, go ahead and subscribe. Get that thumbs up. Let some more people, you know, get some of that truth going here, okay? Well, I'm keep telling the truth to you guys and let you know what's going on about um, what's going on here in Vegas, real estate, everything else. Keep, uh, hope to keep putting it out. See you guys later. Bam.